Hi guys, and welcome to Propeller Ads. You are watching our in-page push campaign guide, and here comes the second part of the series. So, we continue setting our campaign up, and today, let's talk about two crucial moments, pricing model and target URL. Here we go. So, the pricing model. Good news, everyone. CPA Goal is now available for in-page push, which is your perfect chance to work with the advanced tool based on machine learning algorithms and big data. CPA Goal is highly recommended to everyone willing to save their time and money. This model evaluates traffic considering more than 20 variables and optimizes your campaigns automatically. The feature prioritizes the most profitable zones and excludes low-performing ones, so you don't have to do that manually. If you choose this model, don't forget to set server-to-server -server tracking to track conversions and make CPA goal work accurately. Conversion data helps optimize your campaigns and see which zones to exclude or prioritize. There are two more models we have here, CPC and CPM. Just a couple of words about them so that you have a full picture. If you want to test new creatives and engage more users, try CPC. In case you are looking for some scaling opportunities, you may try CPM. The next point is target URL, or else your landing page or website where visitors appear after clicking your notification. You should place your website's or pre-lander's URL here. If you don't have one, get the link from a CPA network and just paste it right here. We took our offer from Zaydu, and this is a classical antivirus. Tokens below will help you make your campaign stats precise. And if you choose the CPA goal model and set server-to-server -server postback, you will need ClickID macro to send conversions to our self-serve platform. Make sure to add it. Let's go further to the user activity groups. As you can see, we have three of them, high, medium, and low. For in-page push, this parameter depends on a total number of push notifications from all advertisers delivered to a user. Logically, users' activity will be lower in case one is already familiar with your ad. To tell the truth, each cohort has its specifics. Say, in the high one, users are really active, but there are not too many of them. At the same time, in the low cohort, users are not so active, but conversions are cheap. Don't avoid the low activity group. With high-quality creatives, you have all chances to earn significant sums with these users. And the best option, create three separate campaigns for each of the activity groups and compare results regarding conversion price. With this information, you can change your bids later and optimize your campaign. In our next video, we will discuss targeting tips, including the best geos and verticals for in-page push as well as the demographics and interests targeting tool. What is more, we will make some stunning creatives and finalize our campaign creation process. Finally, we will launch the campaign and see the first numbers. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave your comments in the section below. We really appreciate your feedback. See you next time.